Welcome to Shine Despite Narcissists. Today our topic is, The Narcissist is Self-Destructive. When facing difficult and toxic individuals, especially those who exhibit narcissistic tendencies, it's easy to feel overwhelmed and depleted. But remember, you are not alone. There are countless others who have walked this path and found ways to navigate these challenging dynamics. Knowledge and spiritual support offer invaluable tools for navigating these turbulent waters, and this is why we are here. Our goal is to have you become informed and equipped with knowledge and the spiritual help necessary to navigate through life and shine despite narcissists. Please ensure to like the video and help someone by sharing the video and commenting below. We appreciate you for that. Please stay tuned till the end of this video to join us in the finalizing prayer. Our topic today is, The Narcissist is Self-Destructive. Narcissists are on a path that leads to destruction, but God offers a better way. He wants us to live in freedom and joy. Let's open our hearts to His guidance. We all know someone who seems to only care about themselves. Their pride gets in the way of their relationships. It hurts them and those around them. But there is hope. With God, change is always possible. Let's come together as a community. Share this message with someone who needs to hear it. Leave a comment and tell us about your experiences. Let's support each other on this journey. The Bible has a lot to say about pride and the destruction it brings. It tells us that pride comes before destruction. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 18 says, Pride goes before destruction and an haughty spirit before a fall. This is a powerful reminder that pride can have serious consequences. Pride makes the narcissists become self-centered and arrogant. This attitude pushes people away. Pride and the destructive actions it leads to make the narcissists lose their families and people close to them. It damages their relationships and leaves them feeling empty. God wants us to be humble. He wants us to put others first. This is the key to true happiness and fulfillment. When we humble ourselves before God, He lifts us up. One of the most well-known stories about pride is the fall of Lucifer. Lucifer was an angel created by God to be beautiful and powerful. But Lucifer's pride got the best of him. Isaiah chapter 14 verse 13 to 14 tells us, For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will be like the Most High. Lucifer wanted to be like God. This desire for power and glory led to his downfall. He was cast out of heaven and became Satan, the enemy of God and his creation which includes mankind. Lucifer's story is a warning to us all. Pride can destroy even the most powerful among us. Another example of pride in the Bible is the story of King Nebuchadnezzar, a tale that serves as a powerful reminder of the dangers of arrogance and self-importance. He was a powerful king who ruled over Babylon, a city renowned for its grandeur and splendor. Nebuchadnezzar had great wealth and accomplishments, amassing treasures and building magnificent structures that showcased his kingdom's prosperity. But he let his pride consume him, believing that his success was solely due to his own efforts and abilities. In Daniel chapter 4 verse 30, the king spoke and said, Is not this great Babylon that I have built for the house of the kingdom by the might of my power and for the honor of my majesty? Nebuchadnezzar took credit for everything, failing to recognize the divine hand that had guided his path. He forgot that God was the source of his success the true architect behind his achievements. Because of his pride, God humbled Nebuchadnezzar, stripping him of his power and status. He was driven from his kingdom and lived like an animal, wandering the wilderness and eating grass like cattle. But eventually, he repented and acknowledged God's power, realizing that his strength and wisdom were gifts from the Almighty. This story shows us that even in our darkest moments, God can restore us when we turn to Him with a humble heart and a contrite spirit, seeking His forgiveness and guidance.
David's Temptation, A Lesson in Humility Even King David, a man after God's own heart, faced temptations of pride. Despite his close relationship with God, he was not immune to the allure of self-importance. After many victories, he began to think highly of himself. His achievements on the battlefield and his growing kingdom made him feel invincible. He numbered his troops, something God had forbidden. This act was not just a simple census. It was a demonstration of his reliance on military might rather than on God's provision. This act, fueled by pride, was a sin against God. It showed a shift in David's heart, from trusting in divine power to trusting in human strength. David realized his mistake and confessed, showing us the importance of humility even in success. His repentance was sincere, and he sought God's forgiveness earnestly. 1 Chronicles chapter 21 verse 8 states, And David said unto God, I have sinned greatly, because I have done this thing. But now, I beseech thee, do away the iniquity of thy servant, for I have done very foolishly. This verse highlights David's acknowledgement of his wrongdoing and his plea for mercy. David's story reminds us that we are all susceptible to pride. No matter how close we are to God, we must guard our hearts against arrogance. But with God's help, we can overcome it. Through prayer and reflection, we can keep our focus on Him and not on our own achievements. We must constantly turn to Him, seeking His guidance and forgiveness. In doing so, we maintain a humble heart and a spirit open to His will, ensuring that our successes do not lead us astray. Breaking free from pride's grip and from the destruction it brings. So how do we break free from pride? How do we avoid the self-destruction it leads to? It starts with recognizing it within ourselves. We must be honest about our own shortcomings. We must acknowledge that we all make mistakes. This is a problem that narcissists have. They find it difficult to acknowledge their wrongdoings. They prefer to always put the blame on others. Philippians chapter 2 verse 3 reminds us, Let nothing be done through strife or vainglory. But in lowliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. We need to put others first. We need to serve others with humility. True fulfillment comes from following Jesus' example. He was the epitome of humility, washing his disciples' feet and ultimately giving his life for us. Finding Strength in Faith Our faith is our anchor in the storms of life. When we face challenges with narcissists or struggle with our own pride, God is our refuge. He gives us the strength to overcome any obstacle. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 says, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. When we wait on the Lord, we are filled with His power. He promises to never leave us nor forsake us. He is our constant companion, guiding us every step of the way. Trust in His promises and let your faith be your guide. A prayer for healing and hope. Let's close with a prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before you today, acknowledging our need for your healing touch. Help us to recognize and overcome pride in our own lives and help us to navigate through life by finding the best possible way to avoid all the dangers and destructions that pride-filled narcissists bring. Give us the courage to forgive those who have hurt us. Fill us with your unconditional love and guide us on the path of humility. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Remember my friends, you are loved, you are worthy. Don't let anyone dim your light. Go out there and shine. Live your best life filled with God's grace and purpose and shine despite narcissists.